Hello guys, Softoni here, welcome to another video tutorial, uh, this is going to be a really cool uh, video lesson. Uh, first of all, like always, I want to thank you for following me, for watching my videos and for supporting me. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button, also turn on the bell icon so you will always be notified whenever I post a new clip. Ok, uh, let's see what we're going to create today. Alright, we're back here in After Effects and first, like always, we're going to create a new composition, hit Ctrl plus N or this little icon here to create a new comp for this composition name, we will rename it to Background with 9020 by 1080, 30 frames per second and for duration you can set up to maybe around 7 seconds. Hit OK and now it's time to create our first layer. Hit uh, right click here in our timeline then go new and then to create a new solid we will rename it background once again and then hit ok and our first effect that we're going to use is going to be four color gradient go here in effects and preset and find this four color gradient if you can't find effects and preset go to window and then uh, just hit here to see effects and preset drag and drop onto our background layer and it's time to make a few adjustments here in our background composition you can readjust it uh, those handles uh, like so first second third and fourth and now we will change our colors for this color 01 i will do uh, some uh, this kind of orange one for this uh, second color maybe darker orange color or so hit ok uh, for third color i will do a uh, green color find it here like so something like this and also i can use this eyedropper to uh, use this uh, color tree uh, also for our color four like so you can also readjust it even more and when you're satisfied just hit ok here in our color picker all right our next effect uh, is going to be cc threads uh, duplicate this background layer or go edit and then duplicate also rename it cc threads and now we can delete this four color gradient uh, effect and find here in effects and preset cc threads okay drag and drop onto our uh, cc threads uh, layer and now we will do also a few adjustments here uh, for this coverage go to around 3, shadowing to maybe around uh, 100 and for texture go to around 50 or so. And also direction I will type 35. Like so now we have this really cool pattern here on our background. Ok now uh, it's time to duplicate this uh, CC threads and we will change our blending modes from normal to overlay for this one. Also for the second one, if you can't find this uh, toggle switches and modes, just hit here on expand or collapse icon. And now it's time to add another effect here in our scene. Uh, also right click and then new to create a new solid layer and we will rename it CC star burst. Hit enter or OK and uh, go here in the effects and present and find star burst effect okay drag and drop onto our starburst uh, layer and also we will make a few adjustments here for this scatter go to around 220 uh, we will lower down our speed to maybe 0.2 or so and now when we hit zero we have uh, this kind of particles animation also we will do a fill effect just change our color like so we will change it to white and also we will add a little bit of glow type glow move it here and now we have this glowy particles really cool background also what we can do is to uh, add a fill effect here in our threads type fill again and drag and drop onto our uh, threads layer uh, and change color to white 
hit Ctrl plus C to copy this effect and also paste it on our CC threads too. Okay, now it's time to bring our background on the highest level with our next effect. And first, uh, what we're going to do is to hit Ctrl plus A or uh, choose all of those layers and then right click, click to pre-compose it. And I will rename it just one. Okay, uh, make sure to move all attributes into the new composition and then hit OK on your keyboard. And now I will add our next effect, CC Glue Gun. A not so well known but really cool and creative effect for this uh, stroke width i will do around 120 for density leave it to 25 time spent also zero seconds and for reflection go around 35 okay and also what we can do is to go here in the light and for the light intensity do around 50. okay now what we can do is to rearrange our colors of course go to here hit F3 for our four color gradient and grab uh, these handles, move it to around here and maybe to go even darker, uh, even darker orange uh, color like so. Now in our background comp, we have something like this. All right, our next step is to uh, hit P on our one composition, hold Alt on your keyboard and then, then type uh, next expression, wiggle open and close bracket 1 comma 50 okay now when we hit zero we have this uh, moving shape really cool okay hit v on your keyboard move this one composition to around here and now it's time to duplicate this uh, one comp for a few times hit here hit ctrl plus d or go to edit and then duplicate move this uh, second one around here i will rename it to just two duplicate once again move it around here duplicate once again move it around here once again around here and our sixth comp will be around here now when we hit zero we have this uh, wobbly cool animation okay we will also add a drop shadow for all of our layers go to effects and preset and type drop shadow and uh, choose all of our layers uh, double click here and for this distance uh, leave it to five for softness go around 30 or so now we also added this really cool uh, drop shadow here when we hit zero you will see our really cool looking shadows in our finals okay our next step is to create a text layer here in our background comp hit ctrl plus t or go here on this horizontal type tool and i'm using this montserrat uh, black font uh, 160 font size and just hit here on our finals and i will just just type random background text background make sure to align to the center like so and uh, grab this uh, background layer and move it to around here in the middle of our uh, composition hit V and you can readjust it like so and now this is looking really cool to me okay our next step is to add also a drop shadow effect here on our background layer and for this distance we will leave it to 5 and for softness maybe around 10 also what we can do is to duplicate once again this effect to see our shadows even better and we will also add a little bit of movement for our background open up this little triangle go to animate find tracking go to around zero frames for tracking amount set our first keyframe zero and then go to around maybe six or seven second and type here 60 or so now when we hit zero we have this cool background animation also next step is to add our uh, blending mode here go to blending modes and choose overlay also duplicate ctrl plus d once again and now choose this soft light blending mode and when we hit zero we have this background moving text and it's looking really cool for now okay now it's time to pre-compose all of our layers once again hit ctrl plus a on your keyboard or choose them all and then right click to pre-compose and for the composition name i will rename it background 
plus elements and move, make sure to move all attributes into the new composition hit ok and now it's time to uh, add further adjustments hit ctrl plus d on your keyboard or go edit and then duplicate and for this blending modes choose also overlay and then go uh, here in background plus elements comp go to this one and copy all of our four layers hit ctrl plus c or go edit and then copy and also now it's time to go uh, back here in background comp and hit ctrl plus v to paste move it down like so and now we have this really cool looking scene with our circles with our starburst and so on okay now hit f3 here on our background layer and we will choose for this uh, first color black one and also for this color three this uh, black colors hit okay and now when we hit zero we have something really cool also you can readjust our star burst to maybe from 220 go to around 300 or so but it's up to you and now this is looking really cool okay our next step is to add our shadows on our edges right click and then create a new adjustment layer uh, i will rename it cc spotlight and find this spotlight effect here in our effects and preset drag and drop onto our spotlight adjustment layer and you can play around with those handles uh, grab this one here or so and for the height maybe to around here edge softness you can play around of course like so for intensity go to around maybe 50 or 60 and now this is looking really really awesome and creative all right guys uh, that that was everything for today's uh, motion graphic uh, tutorial for this uh, really cool uh, background animation you can also uh, change your colors to uh, maybe blue red whatever you like but i think this is looking really nice uh, for this uh, video tutorial uh, and i want to thank you again for watching this video take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials also if you haven't su subscribed to my channel uh, hit that subscribe button and like always turn on the bell icon so you can always get notification whenever i post a new clip and until next time stay creative and bye bye